Hello and welcome back to our totally awesome, magical EU4 game where we're playing as our nation. As you see, totally left off where we started. I have this little screen up, just checking out you know the wins and losses inside this whole thing. We we can't participate in any of these battles ourselves. Our tech is too horrible, and I mean we can't really even ask for anything. You know we wanted to. Because there's gonna be like no. But yeah, so all in all, we're just, you know, a literal support in this whole war. We have nothing else. We have no anything else. So use that 200% for us again. That's cool. Well, 200 points, I guess, whatever relations. Guess they appreciate that we're helping them out in all their fights. But after that, we have what? We're actually down to one more person, I think, which is the main person. No, no, we have Shang Shang, right? Shang Shang. They're in this too. Which is this one, isn't it? No, this is a G. Where are you? Oh, it's here. That's what we're doing with this group. This is like our, our smallest group is down here. Our largest group of troops are up here. I mean, the only bummer is that, yeah, we do participate in all these uh, wars, so we do get the participation, but we're not leading in any of them. So our troops are basically just, like I said, supporting more than anything else. We're just shooting people from a distance. I mean, we got 12%. That's not too bad. Still less than everyone else, but 12% is 12%. Oh, there we go, the war is done. The war has finished. So everyone got all they wanted, I guess. Or none of it. Oh, Chuna has 11 favors to us. Insane. Okay, we gotta move our troops. So we gotta move. This 16 stack down here, this 4 stack over here. Views already for some reason annoyed at us. I don't know why. Our navy's here, we don't need to worry too much about it, but we do sadly have to begin the reproduction. But we'll have to wait before we do that, only because we want to build those factories. Remember, we build a factory, we get the chance to increase things 430. Ugh. So expensive. It may seem like it's nothing, but generally it really is you know, a lot of money for us. So it's 430, we can get another one of these. Which would increase our income, as you can see. 48 so far is one of the highest. 45, 45. Can't build anything there. No point in building anything there. So we basically get 48. Almost a ducat. Almost one. For that. And then once we do that, once that's finished, we'll begin working on our navy again because we have to upgrade all our galleys. All of our galleys. Just gonna wait for a 16 stack to come first. We'll have the 16 stack forward. Like so. And then we'll have them drop the 16 down somewhere. And then we'll have the next stack get picked up afterwards. And we probably should just make four more boats, to be honest. That's probably what we should do, but. Eh. I don't know why we have them here. I think it was because of the Nash, the, the the unrest here. Yeah, yeah. It's unrest is why we have them. So we'll drop the 16 down there. Nah, we'll just drop them our home.
It just makes more sense, you know? It just makes more sense. Drop him there. They'll get up, grab that four, put on our next one. Because, yeah, they should be more than able to be, but yeah. I mean, we have low development, but we don't have that low development. I mean, other one of our provinces, yes, we have completely, insanely low development issues. But, not too bad here. So yeah, we finally, I mean, one of the many issues we have, I guess, as a nation, is that we can't marry into any other nation. Because we're not Confucius, we're not, you know, anything. Oh, look at that. We get naval supply increased by 50%. That's pretty cool. What do you want? Nobles demand all the rights. We get a monthly change where their loyalty goes up. Oh, we lose. Oh, excuse me. Lose stability. Don't like monthly or not. Autonomy change. It's like money. And that's so 16, it has 10 years of it. We'll take the stability hit. That's fine. Because we can just pay back up. That's basically. This is what it is. We can just pay it all back up. It may take a hit for us to, um, you know, go up in admin tech, but it shouldn't be too bad. Wu decide we're not rival worthy of them anymore. What's wrong, Wu? Must be scaring them. Notice, like, no. Poor, poor Wu. <laughs> well, I mean, they did shrink again. Look at that. I'm pretty sure they shrunk again. Did they have this? Yang Zhao over here? I mean, like I said, taking Wu would be amazing for us. Development wise, it'd be great. The problem we'd have is we have to fight against Ming in that. And that would be an issue. If we just even took just the coast alone, we'd probably boost up our, uh, what is this? They are at 7 development there, not so good. 17 development, that's pretty good. 21 development, uh, uh, oh. Okay, now we're doing good. 21 development, and it's silk with 5, that's pretty good. And then what? Let's see. Let's. This one here. 14 development. 30 development. 14. I mean, this is probably maybe another 80 development. We can upgrade ourselves into a kingdom if we took Wu. We're at 227. We need. Like eighty more. Well, I mean seventy. Uh, geez, seventy-seven more. But I just like, ugh. You make these people welcome our society. And we give us more income. Yay! It's a self-sustaining colony. We moved. Two of three. Yeah, court again. Who wants stuff? Clergy? Alright. It's just wool, anyways. You're marching down there, which is good. That frees up our only. <laughs> Colonist, that the only reason why that occurred was because, well, they decided that's what they wanted. Keep, what is it here? We can get wool. Yeah, it's always wool, fish, or grain. Gold is there too, but I doubt we're going to get gold. And if we do get gold, it's not like it's worth it because 
This is not even technically going to be ours in the end. Was I right? Yeah, look, it's all British. All British. And then they have an eight development province here. Five, five. I'm not going to show me five. Eight, eight, nine, eight, six. It's down here. Got seven, got five, got a seven, and a seven. So I will be holding, I guess, this part of Australia. <laughs> Uh, we just probably went up in money. Yep, that's fine. I'm gonna stay up in money for a bit. And once this is done, might as well send the guy. It's not like we have two. We send him there and increases the new seller chance even more. No one became a second one because the people transferred over here. That's the only reason why. We're not really gonna spend much in here, <laughs> regardless of how weird that may sound. And the reason is only because it's probably a colony, and once we get a certain number, your colonial nation becomes a nation, and they become like your vassal. So, it's not something we need to invest in. They can invest into themselves, and their only enemy is going to be British colonies or British Australia, so it won't be too, too bad. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. We have 400. Well, maybe we'll, <laughs> maybe we'll go up in the military. Look at once we hit the four four. Oh my gosh, we have to upgrade our ships again. Look at that. Or our light ships are not be upgraded. All our heavy ships. I mean, normally, it's funny, but like there's certain. What was it? I'm trying to remember which one. One of the expansions allow you to press a button, and the button will just upgrade them for you. You don't have to worry about it. But since we don't have that expansion right now, we have to do it ourselves. We don't have that luxury of, oh, well, we can just, you know, press that button, and they'll upgrade for whatever amount per month. We literally have to, you know, scrap them and build them all. So that's why whenever I do the upgrades, I think I did in the video with, when I was doing the upgrades, I just land up breaking down the ships. So I cut it in half, scrap those half, build the half, then cut the other one in half and build the other half. And then put it back in our main fleet. Generally speaking, we still have rival of our rival? We do. Oh, we lost some sailors. So we should probably work on a key again. I'm sure they love us. <laughs> Hello, key. Remember us, the people who blockaded your people? With Ming? We want to be friends now. There we go. Alright, so what we have? We can build something for wool, cloth, silk, or dyes. We can build a trade company. Let's see what makes it more. Right now we know the highest is 48, I think it was. You're not gonna show me. You're not gonna show me. Don't be mean, game. Oh, right, they can't show me because I'm not looking at anything that has it. Yeah, that's not working. <laughs> Have to look at the stuff that has it. Duh. So you have the best. What are you supposed to be? You're 48. You're spicy. Sucks, but eh, what do you want? All right. So now we begin the the galley making, the new level of galley making. So we're building that factory over here, which will then build us with this. We're going to get more in the factory section stuff. So. We're getting some renaissance because of our nearby neighbors, but it's not what we can get for renaissance. 
So we're going to get that factory going. So we start pumping out some stuff for us. But our Navy is where our next fun time is at. So we have right here. Speaking of which, we got to fuse these guys together. We have right here probably 33 galleys. Yeah, 33 galleys. So take them and we got to divide them in half. Or at least as much as we can. So our galleys. Let's see, we'll do 10. We'll do 10. Select this. Our 10 galleys. Send them. I don't know, we got, we got all this land. Quote unquote. It's 1 through 3, so we might, we might as well send them over here. Get them destroyed. Actually, we should probably do 11. No, I think. So that way we can have one ship. Yeah. So we'll have one ship that will fuse with them. That we can use as like the main ship for all the ships to go into. And then we'll have the other one. We'll just destroy it once we're done. Just plain simple. So we're gonna send you to Ezekiel Bug. Where you will then blow up ten of your ships. <laughs> and then build another ten. Because we like making sure our people have production. Just how it goes. So like this. Select this unit, and goodbye. I click on you, and build me. Uh -huh. I could probably just shift click it. Oh, we need nine. Wait a bit. We should have fourteen. I think we only get like seven a month. All the new boats. Then once they're all done, we trash that one, build one, send it back. So we get 11, send them back, send the other, the rest of them, do the same thing. Trash everything but one, build them all up. Is it a great way to spend money? Probably not. But I like to try to keep our ships at least at the same level as the rest of our, you know, enemies. We need to build more large ships, but our economy sort of, but can't at the same time support it. We got at least more of those. Yeah, we can go up to 75 ships right now, so that's not too bad. And these guys cost about, yeah, they never changed for them. The transport ships I don't care too much about. <laughs> to me, they're like all the same. Their whole purpose is just to transport ships. So that's how I look at it. Some places will obviously build faster than others if they have the shipyards. Well, yeah. Then. We have our 22, so that's 21 destroyed, 21 made. Oh, crazy. Cost 9. Yeah, so we probably should just cut that in half too, put 11 again. I'm just doing three segments of, you know, for a whole 33. Look, we can make something. Let's see. More production. I'm just looking to see where we can make the most money. And yeah, of course, they're gonna be like, you can build here. Yeah, no, thank you. Not interested. <laughs> Six, ten, thirteen. Not too bad. I know they hate our guts. 
Oh yeah. So continues our <laughs> our magical quest of rebuilding our navy while hopefully eventually maybe going up in the world of technology. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video as well. Uh, if you enjoyed it, be sure to like and subscribe to get more content like this, possibly. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. So, you guys have a great day. Enjoy the holidays. This comes out during the holidays. And if it doesn't, you know, just enjoy your day. I mean, it could technically be worse, right? Maybe. <laughs> Anyways, again, see you guys later. Bye-bye.